Good morning, class 2H. So today we are moving on from having used grams to something else that is a standard unit of measure. When I say standard unit, it means that when we use this to measure, anyone in any country can understand it and we'd all get the same answer. For example, when you're in reception and year one, you probably used non-standard measurement. You might have used blocks, for example, to measure things and find out how heavy something is, like a teddy bear. But if we all have different sizes and weights of blocks, we're all going to get different answers. So you'll notice in Mrs. Higgins' cover today, I found some flowers. And if you look closely, you can see that this flower has a mass of one kilogram. Can you see that there? One kilogram. I've also got some porridge oats. And look, they are also one kilogram. Can you see it written as one kg? And finally, some basmati rice, also one kilogram. Does anyone know what kg or kilogram stands for? Yes, you're right. It stands for kilograms. And it can be written in short as kg, or you can write out the whole word. Now, last week, we learned all about the g for grams. And both of these are units to measure mass or the weight of something. Grams are for light objects and kilograms are for things that are much heavier because kilogram is the same as 1000 grams. So grams are small and light, kilograms weigh heavier things. Now it's over to you to see if you can find some things in your house that are weighed in kilograms. <laughs> 